Do you read me, Mortimer? I we read you loud and clear, Blink. Mac one. Mac two. It's time to get down to business. Mac 4.5, 5. Altitude, 60,000 feet. Blake? Blake? Do you read me? Francis, please come in. I read you. It's under control. Mark 7. Altitude 110,000 feet. All previous records are history. Hooray! <laughs> Mark 8. 120,000. That's all we need to know from the first test. Pull back. Very well. I'm stabilizing. About to perform the first battle simulation test maneuver. Targets in place. Proceed when ready. My, you're an elegant little toy. You'll give the opposition nightmares. Oh dear, we have a problem. Eject immediately. We'll take no risks. If you insist. Well. There's the trouble. I'll soon put that right. We have to strip the hyperthruster of prototype 2. Fast. The Colonel has arrived, sir. Very well. Colonel. We're fully operational. And we attack tonight. We'll be the masters of the world. Mortimer. Blake. Goodness, I'm glad to see you. I was worried. How are you getting on? Very well. Come and look. I must make some final adjustments. But the Swordfish Mark II will be ready in 48 hours. I'm afraid that will be too late. I just left a meeting of the General Staff. Intelligence thinks that they'll attack in under 24 hours. They'll try to knock out strategic targets first. And we're high on the list, old chap. Captain? A message from General Staff. Let's see. I thought so. I'm afraid World War III has just begun. The Emperor has trusted us with two vital missions. We must lay our hands on the prototype of the swordfish. And we must bring Professor Mortimer back alive. For the Emperor! For the Emperor! And the latest update. 
Moscow, Beijing, Bombay, Rome, and Berlin are in ruins. All were destroyed by a massive attack of ballistic missiles. And this report just handed to me, a hail of missiles is now falling on Paris and Tokyo. New York and London may expect the same fate within minutes. The golden rocket is ready. We must leave, Philip. I'm ready. Activate the self-destruct system. There's not a moment to lose. There they are. Take the hangar, fast! Mission accomplished, Colonel. Awaiting further orders. Over. The hangar should go up any second now. Sir, look at that! Ah! Farewell, swordfish. You'll build another, Philip. Look, Colonel. The Golden Rocket. And I'll wager Mortimer is aboard. He mustn't escape. This is Ulrich to Fighter Command. Top priority, stop the Golden Rocket. Don't let it get away. There's enemy fighters on our tail, Captain. The whole pack is after us. We'll see how fast they can run. The Golden Rocket's gaining altitude, but we're in attack formation right on her tail. They're still with us. They can't get enough of our company. Now I think we should test our jamming system. Over to you. Jammer activated. Defender. So, we haven't cleaned out all the rats yet. Jim, check the damage. Oh. Jim? Jim! I'm all right, Captain. Come on, try. Come just a wee bit closer. That's right. You can do it. Got you! We lost one of the reserve tanks. We haven't enough fuel to make the rendezvous. How are you feeling? Okay. Here are the new coordinates. A backup rendezvous. Over to you. I want to check the damage. Right, Captain. Nothing left. Nothing! I tell you, we need the swordfish. We must capture Mortimer and force him to work for the Empire. But, Colonel, he'll never agree. No, then he'll die. We'll be there in under an hour. Only a little longer, Jim. <sighs> ah, we'll never make it on schedule. We have no choice. We have to jump. Now we must find a path. I spotted one while we were coming down. Over there. Jim. He's gone, I'm afraid. There's something ahead. It's an enemy pilot, Lieutenant. A pilot? Where's his aircraft? 
I think I have an idea. Look, down there. It looks as if they found something. We better wait for orders. This is Red Fox calling Blue Bear. Blue Bear, do you read me? What in the name of... Blue Bear, hold your fire, hold your fire! Bravo, Philip. Very stylish. I do what I can. Why are all of my associates criminally incompetent? We found the wreckage of the golden rocket here. We don't need a nuclear physicist to tell us that Blake and Mortimer stole that vehicle. Where are they going? They're heading southeast, sir. Double the patrols. Triple them. Do you understand? If a lizard ventures out of its hole, I want to know about it. Got that? Yes, yes sir, sir, Colonel. Colonel? Now what? We found this on the body of the co-pilot of the Golden Rocket, sir. Well, well, how interesting. It's behind those mountains. Over there. But there's a devil of a storm coming. So, we're undercover. There they are! They mustn't reach the mountains. Remember, the Colonel wants them alive. You know you're a terrible driver? Would you rather be hit by a rocket? Ugh. Back to base. Lost them. But I assure you, Your Majesty... Quiet! You lost the swordfish! Do not dare to lose anything else, Colonel Ulrich! I know we will capture Mortimer, sir. I hope for your sake you will, Colonel. There's no question, Lord. It's his neck or yours. We'll see about that. Affirmative, Colonel. That is the tank they stole. They couldn't have survived a crash like that, sir. Nope. We haven't found their bodies yet, but we... I can tell you where their bodies are, soldier. They're alive and kicking, you idiot! That was good thinking, Philip. Elementary. If your tank runs out of gas, abandon it for your enemy to deal with. But... Captain Blake and Professor Mortimer, I presume. Sergeant Nazir, 5th Battalion, Macron Levy Corps, at your service. We've been expecting you. We can't stay here. Come along. But the rendezvous's up there. Come, I'll show you. Ulrich, it's a trap. But how could he... I went out on patrol, and when I came back, there they were. And our men? By the Tartan of Clan McGregor. When he says that, he's pleased. What is it, Philip? To the left of the cedar. Delta Red. Ulrich's personal plane. Is there a way up there? I want my breakfast. Shh! Not a sound. They disappeared an hour ago. Where did they go? I can send out a patrol, sir. And ruin my surprise attack? Never. <gasps> oh, oh. 
Deal with the tarps. I'll do the rest. You should choose your friends more carefully, Francis. Yes, some friends never know when to let go, do they? Do you think you can fly this thing? Of course I can. Send out your patrol. See that you take Mortimer alive. Ah! Delta Red! We're closing in on the secret base. About time. I want to get back to work. And I want to fly the new swordfish. These plans will produce the first prototype in two months. <laughs> Someone's shooting at us. I'll go check. They're partisans. But Nazir, we're on their side. We are, yes, but not Delta Red. I'll try to gain altitude. Engines are gone. We'll have to crash land. This is getting to be a habit. Get out of here, fast! Francis! What are you playing at? I can't stand being rushed, but sometimes I'll make an exception. I thought you might like your papers. Oh, that was close. Poor Ulrich. Captain! Professor! We're safe. They're on our side. We bid you welcome. We must leave now. Mm, I'll have some Earl Grey tea and toast. Philip, this isn't a hotel. Good work, my friend. They'll never get out of this. You must get away. We'll cover you. But how? There's a tunnel up to the top. There are horses for you there. The rabbit will be flushed out of its burrow any second now. You'll see. Good. Couldn't be better. They'll lead us straight to their secret headquarters. We made it. We mustn't put a foot wrong. Not this close to our goal. Come with me, Philip. Do we have to climb to the top? No, no, just a few feet up. That's all. Huh? Look out! Take cover! <laughs> Francis! Wait, Professor! Francis! The view's wonderful, but I don't feel terribly safe. We'll get you back. We found the three fugitives. That is the way in, but we have to wait for low tide. We can't move for two hours. My ankle's sprained, I can't walk. Give me two months, and I'll give you a swordfish that'll wipe out the Empire. Oh, Lord, no. The plans. I've lost the plans. God, they must have fallen out when you went over the cliff. I'll go back. I'll come too. No, Nazir, stay with Blake. If I'm not back in time for the tide, don't wait for me. All right.
surrender, Mortimer. This time you can't escape. That's what you think. Take him alive! I hope Philip had time to get away. Search the area. His companions can't be far away. Yes, Colonel. What's the point, Professor? Give up! Some other time, perhaps. Good evening, Professor. Captain, the tide is out. Nazir, we must go, Captain. Remember what he said. You're right, Nazir. And we must go now. Well, well, Professor. I'm delighted to meet you face to face at last. I wish I could say the same, Colonel. We couldn't find anyone, sir. Keep looking. They didn't evaporate. Don't rejoice too soon, Professor. We know your secret base is nearby and we'll find it. We have some people who can induce you to tell us absolutely anything we want to know. Do they happen to have any food? I'm starving. Leave me alone with him. Why can't you be reasonable, Professor Mortimer? Agree to work with us. We'll figure something out. Between you and me, I don't particularly want swordfish to fall into the Emperor's hands. Let's make a deal. So you can't even be loyal. Only fools are loyal, Mortimer. Go to hell, Ulrich. You'll be right at home there. Understand this, or we're both wasting our time. You'll talk, Professor, or you'll die. I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. If the Colonel doesn't get results, you can be sure the Emperor will demote him with a smile. Allah be with you. Welcome aboard, Captain Blake. Bad news. Ulrich's losing patience. I don't think Mortimer will survive many more interrogations. What'll we do? Tell Mortimer to pretend to comply until we can get him out of that hole. Base in sight, sir. Begin approach maneuvers. I've never seen you before. No, indeed, Lord. They just hired me yesterday. Hmm. All right. Out. Well, well, I can see that your appetites come back, Professor. I've had enough of this. I'll tell you whatever you want. Wonderful. You finally came to your senses, old man. I'm sure we'll work together very well. Finish your breakfast. I'll see you later. Keep your eyes on him. He's too important to take risks with. 
Two days later... Not bad. Not bad at all. But it's nothing really revolutionary. It's only an ordinary conventional rocket plane. Oh, that's just the beginning, Lee. Wait till you see the rest. Colonel Ulrich asked me to assist you, Professor. I agree, but if you're going to hide key data... Oh, come, Lee. Would I do something as stupid as that? I don't know, Professor, but don't take me for a fool. Ah! It's time for my walk, so if you'll excuse me, Doctor... Certainly, Dr. Mortimer. I think I'll stretch my legs, too. How fascinating. I've never seen this train of roses. Yes, beautiful, aren't they? Indeed. Any luck? No, sir. Not a thing. The arrow must stand for swordfish, and the triangle is the pyramid. But I don't understand what that cross is supposed to mean. It's where Mortimer hid the plans. It can't be anything else. There, look at that. Let's go, gentlemen. Ha! Huh. The ah. blueprints! Stifling in here. I need some air. I'm going out. Hold it right there, Professor. Oh, simmer down, Ulrich. You're like a cat on bricks tonight. Are you scared of thunder? Don't do anything stupid, Mortimer. Who, me? Colonel, don't shoot! What is it? What do you want? Um, <clears throat> an official of the Emperor's is asking for you. <gasps> what in blazes does he want now? Wipe that silly smirk off your face, or you'll regret it, Mortimer. If I were you, I wouldn't try it, Professor. You're such a spoiled sport. General Carpo, the Emperor wishes me to interrogate your prisoner. It's all under control, but it was kind of you to bother. Soldier, General Crapo's cape. Carpo, Colonel. Carpo. Please come in, I'll show you around. Just sit quietly till the Colonel comes back. You wouldn't dare pull that trigger. Don't count on it, Professor. We've barely started, of course, but Professor Mortimer is being most cooperative. Sir, I'm afraid it's stuck. Then unstick it. Come and help. Open it. Cooperative, I think you said.
A week later, a train transports captured resistance fighters. It was nothing, really. I... Sergeant! I'd like to introduce the man who saved our necks. Very glad to meet you. Without you, we would have been in big trouble. Now we have time to introduce ourselves. Jack Harper. Bell. Donald Bell. See a dip right now? A dip, Mr. Harper? Watch this. Oh, now that's ugly. Why, it's Francis Blake. We were at Cambridge together. Francis! Jack Harper. Good to see you. This is my friend, Donald Bell. I wouldn't have made it without him. Jack exaggerates. No, I don't. He saved my life twice. And he's an atomic engineer, Francis. That's useful. I'm uh, delighted to meet you, Bell. Professor Mortimer will be glad of your help. This way, I'll clear you with security. Everything under control. We shall be ready in less than a week. I can hardly wait to fly that plane again. So how do I look? Very impressive. I used to be in bomb disposal, but they promoted me to security. Good for you, Harper. The uniform suits you. So, I'll be working with you then? Sorry to keep you waiting. Got lost, did you? Don't worry. It happens to us all at first. We'll start by checking section six. This way. All the munitions are stored in here. What are those? That's a Tomalite B. Just one of those cartridges can level a 10-story building. Harper! Yes? You're wanted on the intercom. Yes. Right. We're on our way. Trouble with the reactors. Let's go. Our nuclear reactors. They're vital. They're our primary source of power. There are excessive radiation levels in the locker room. Right. We'll check it out. Hmm. Over there. Aha! Here's a guilty party. A contaminated pair of pliers will soon clean them up. Look, you dropped something. It's a tomalite. As soon as Swordfish is operational, we'll attack their fleet, here. And then, their ballistic missile base. Sparks will fly, I can tell. <laughs> Attention all hands! Explosion in the generator room! Rescue teams on the double! Several wounded! We found a radiation leak, just a small one, but we 
We called security and they sent two men over to check it out. Two men from security? Who? Uh, it, it was Harper and a new man, I think. Bill, I bet. Freddy here. I found one of them. It's Harper. He has a head wound. What about Bell? No sign of him. Keep looking. I don't understand. Bell must have attacked Harper for some reason. Bell is a traitor. And a saboteur. The swordfish. Attention all hands, Captain Blake speaking. Red alert. Attention, red alert. Be on the lookout for a lone saboteur believed to be disguised as a security officer. Double security at critical checkpoints. Oh, no! This is Mortimer, and I've located the saboteur. It's Ulrich. He's taking the underwater route. I'm going after him. Over. days later, at the secret headquarters of the Resistance. We can hold out against bombs, but Ulrich knows the way in underwater. We've been working around the clock for four days, but I'll need at least ten hours more to complete swordfish. We'll try to make sure you get them. In a few hours, the Resistance will be broken forever. Gentlemen, in a few moments, their infantry will attack the base. We must delay them at all costs. That is all. I made a few changes. Look here, this dial should be easier to read. There goes the backup generator. We'll have to finish the job on battery power. Colonel, they're inside the base. Swordfish is ours. Well, Nazir, we can't hold out much longer. What's in those freight cars? Explosives. I see. There now, it's done. Oh. It won't stop them for long. We're ready, Francis. Shoot to kill, Captain.
All the best. I'll be back in time for dinner. Gentlemen, we've won the war. Swordfish. Mission accomplished. Returning to base. Yeah. So you see, my dear fellow, thanks to your remarkable invention, the forces of the Empire have been wiped out completely. And Ulrich? We're hot on his trail. That's good. I'm off to the country, Fairlock Castle, for a month. On a vacation? My poor man, you'll be so bored. The governments of the free world have decided to put the swordfish into production right away, as soon as possible. And the best part is, they intend to put you in charge of operations. 